In this video, I will be showing you how to utilize the plate analysis ribbon. Now, if you did not add the plate analysis during acquisition, you can add it by going to the analysis ribbon and under type here, uh, choosing plate. Uh, you can also add this by using the quick start menu right up here and also choosing plates. Now, chances are it will not end up in the right location. So if you need to, you can uh, move the plate around until it is in the proper location. And you can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard to do some fine tuning as well. Now, if the plate is not square on the image, if you right click here, you can rotate the grid. And using this window, this pop-up window, you can rotate this grid around the center and then if you need to you can move it again into the proper location. Alright so once we have it there uh, we can make some modifications to this plate. Uh, we can make the wells larger or smaller depending on your plate type. We can choose square if that is appropriate. And there are several different plate sizes here running from six wells up to 1536 well plates. And since this is obviously a 96 foot plate, that's the one I'm going to go with. And again, I'm just going to move this into the correct location. And from here, to set up the analyses, uh, what you basically need to do is, if you have background wells on here, you need to define which wells those are. And for this experiment, uh, wells D1 and E1 are the uh, background well. So I've highlighted both of those and I'm going to set that as the user defined background. And if you have more than one, what it will do is it will average the intensity uh, within those two wells and use that as the background subtraction. And so once I have those highlighted, I just simply click on assign wells. Now down here, uh, we have two new tables um, on this, and the plate wells is a summary of uh, all the wells on the plates uh, laid out in a column format. If you would like to see the information laid out in a grid format, you can do that uh, for uh, one channel at a time. And here, also on the plate wells, if you have assigned a background uh, for this experiment, the value that you want to use is signal. If you have not designated any wells as background, what you will use as uh, will be total. And the reason for that is signal is not calculated if uh, background is not assigned. So um, if you if you have not designated any wells as background, uh, total will be what you use. And total is based essentially a sum of all the intensities inside the well. And But uh, signal is, is a, since it is background corrected, it will be a more accurate uh, value for doing your analysis. So from here, if you would like, we can uh, display the intensities on a chart. And what you need to do is just simply choose the analysis type and I'm going to go here to plate wells for, for the graphing. Now, if you have assigned a background, uh, please be aware that this is the total and not the signal. If you would like the signal to be displayed instead, here under data, uh, for the y-axis, you want to change this from total to signal. And then you, you see that the signal is now displayed. One other nice function uh, with this charting is that if we hide the unused wells on here, they will not be displayed. And so what I'm going to do right now is just simply click and highlight the wells that are included in my experiment. And I'm going to apply a filter, and it's going to be a selection filter. Now if you watch the uh, chart up here at the top, as soon as I apply this selection filter, the the chart changes, and now it is only these wells uh, that were used for part of the experiment. And if I want to highlight a particular well, if I click here, you will see that the highlight changes here on the graph. And also if I click on one of the um, 
lines here, uh, it changes the selection over here. So if you have any further questions on the plate analysis, please refer to the help section. Thank you.